crab cell is a technology we use uh, the really original uh, electrophoresis approach. Um, 50 years ago, when we introduced the electrophoresis gel, it's not a slab gel. It's a cylindrical gel. Okay, it's 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 done in a, in test in a test tube like you know, common like thing, and this is exactly what we have here. In this uh, uh, prep cell instrument in the middle, it's a cylinder gel. You you pour the gel in there. You have upper chamber buffer right there, and uh, lower chamber buffer right there, and the special thing is the collection um, unit at the bottom of the gel where the protein runs through the, through the gel and get eluded into this chamber and get um, uh, collected into different fractions. So on the 1D gel, if you see the protein bands uh, like this, uh, the small proteins will elude faster and get collected in the early uh, uh, fractions. And you can see the size change in the fractions. This is how you separate your gels. Advantage of prep cell? You can load tons, tons of material. That's number one. This, uh, of course, the size, the, the density of the gel, you can decide it all by yourself. I loaded actually 90%, 90 milligrams of serum sample here. 90 milligrams so that you can collect, you know, really tons of material in each fraction. Yes? So that means when it comes out the bottom of the gel, it actually goes to some sort of a... Yeah, collection tube, collection yeah, fraction collector. Yes, yes. I'll show you. And it gets collected into... Can it happen, uh, just uh, gla yeah, gla glass tubes, yes. So then those glass tubes, you, to get that out of picture, you have to run that on the electrophoresis? Yes, yes. All right. This is, is non-denatured at this point. This is denatured. The good thing about this is electrophoresis-based uh, protein secretion. If you look at this, electrophoresis-based protein secretion is always um, um, better than chromatography approach because the chromatography approach you can see it depends on color. It, often you see really uh, overlapping the peak portion distribution of the peak, and the electrophoresis um, uh, separation is. Uh, have higher resolution. You can get a better um, um, separation of protein bands. For example, this is the, the this is a zoom in view of the just a core part of the of, of the prep cell. This is the gel, and this is the protein bands. Uh, the dye is a colored protein bands, and this is bottom one is 21 kilodalton. The, the top one is 23 kilodalton. It shows you that the, the power of, of this fractionation here, okay? It doesn't have to be the natural. It doesn't. It, it can be native gel. I actually used this. I'll show you this in the study. So later, that's a good introduction question. So this is, if this is the uh, total protein gel, okay? After fractionation, you can say, hey, I put fraction 27, you're going to see that it's mostly small proteins on the 2D gel, right? And you go higher fraction number, you can see the increase, increase of the protein size along the, along the 2D gels. So this, this, is, this is the power. And I want to use it to address a very important question, that is, the serum sample. We always want to dig into, because serum sample, you know, has probably over 50% of uh, proteins of ser uh, 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 serum, albumin. And um, probably another 20 or 25% are just IgG, yes. right? And uh, if you put on the O2D gel, you just see these two proteins. Yes. But... 99% of the proteome of serum that's right. It's right here. Ninety-nine percent of the proteins are classic plasma protein proteins. This this figure I got it from Anderson paper, a well-known figure. So, about the the important part of of the proteins um, in the serum are tissue linkages, okay, and also interleukins, okay. But the amount of them are very low. This is uh, micrograms per mil, nanograms per mil, even to 
picograms per mil. I want to use this uh, uh, prep cell to help me to see whether I can see tissue, tissue leakage things. How I'm going to do this? I need to understand what kind of material I'm dealing with. And this is what I used. I run this serum sample in a non-reduced uh, form and a reduced form, okay? In a non-reduced form, what do you see? You load, uh, you know, as many proteins as you can on the one DJ. From this run, I see that most of the high abundance protein are above 37 kilodalton. I will say, hey, I'm going to focus only on small proteins to see whether I can find some interesting biomarkers, okay? But I cannot use reduced way. This is why I want to say that do not do not use DTT because you got light chain out. This light chain of IgG now in, the, in this area, you want to get rid of this. So I decide to run a prep cell in a non-reduced form, okay? This is what I see. This is a ser uh, 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 serum sample in laminar buffer on the one D gel. This is a non-reduced, so you see IgG, 150 kilodalton, and uh, albumin, about uh, anywhere from 55 to 65 kilodalton. And from, IG, from the uh, uh, prep cell fraction, I pulled fraction 2 to 4. What do you see? Even though you don't see anything here, you start to see a huge amount of protein bands in there. Just to confirm, then, yes. each of these lanes is exactly the same concentration of protein load, right? Same amount of protein load Yes, lane. yes. Yeah. So same amount of protein load as the lane guys. So you see, you see a huge amount also here in the middle. Of, uh, of the fraction 5. Of course, there is a lot of fine tune there. I need to find the right percentage of uh, 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 cylinder gel I need to make. In this case, I probably used 10% uh, SDS page because anything after these two fractions, I throw it away. It's useless, right? So here I start already have some albumin right, right there. Okay? So, what I used afterwards, the downstream is I put on protein chips, the Saudi, Saudi uh, surface. And to compare them, this is a, I get a little bit taste of mass back. This is unfractionated human serum. I just put it on a CM10 um, Saudi chip. And you can see a few proteins right there, okay? The size is about 14, Seven and this is uh, 25. Well, if I load equal amount proteins of uh, from the prep cell fractionation, you s you see that the the major proteins are faithfully maintained in there. Okay. But what do you see? You see a lot of other proteins uh, coming out. Okay. So this is a way to get away from the very expensive antibody column to remove albumin or IgG or top proteins. So this is a, a zoom in view of the protein peaks. Tons, tons of them. See this a little bit peak here, you see much better signal right there. Okay? So the good thing about prep cell is if you have tons of material, fractionate it. And this is a way to dig into the podium.